see if there's anything else I can salvage up the yoga. Because... Uh, you can see that there are large sacks on the ogres. You could possibly use them to create pouches. <laughs> oh god. Bertha, what are you doing? Um, I'm not entirely sure. Tiller attempts to light up the room a bit by standing in the middle of it. Mm -hmm. So you're just going to stand there? I'm of not much use right now. All I can do is investigate the room. You're going to investigate the room. What does that mean? I'm a cleric. I don't loot bodies like everybody else. You've already looted the bodies. Exactly. So what's more for me to do? I can't detect the traps. But yeah, I'll, I'll see if there's any windows or doors or I don't know. Objects right. in the room. I don't know, I might just find a pile of ogre feces with a gold nugget inside. Yeah, gold nuggets. Yeah. What's your detect traps, Gemma? To find traps is 35 or under. Alright. You're pretty certain that um, anyone who that has set the, any traps in this place would have... Uh, their traps have already been set off ages ago. Hmm. Alright, I want to listen to what's behind the door. Um. Hear noises is. 54 or under. As you listen in, with a bit of difficulty, you can still hear that trickling water from behind. Hmm. I still hear running water. Can we get into formation and see what's on the other side of the door? No. I shall move for you. Alrighty. So, moving back. Uh -huh. Into formation. Who wants to open the door? Let's open this way or that way. Do you want to try and push it forward? Yeah. If you push it forward, you realise it's locked. Okay, I attempt to unlock it. There, there are. You notice that there are three locks on the door. Hmm. So she goes against you if they have the three keys. <laughs> <laughs> well, I wonder if each one of them is a different type of force. Hmm. Like your pack lock? Hmm. That's a good lock. Does someone want to smash the door, or do you want to? Do you want to let Eris? Uh, try? I like Eris to have a try first. The less noise you make, the better. Do it, please. I'll oh, wait. All right. Okay, you want to check check the lock? Yes. Open the door with the, my thieves' tools. All right. Which lock do you wish to uh, try and open first? The middle one. The middle one. As you stick your key lock into it, you discover that this is actually a this lock doesn't even function. <laughs> this lock is there for cosmetic reasons. Huh, the middle one isn't even a lock. Have a PC as he tries to open the door. <laughs> it's still locked. I try the top one. Top one. Are they one, two, three, or is it one, two, three? One, two, three. Triangle. Okay, I'll choose the left one. The left one. You're satisfied that uh, if, he, if it was indeed a lock, you would have opened it like that. Alright, the next one. With a good old twist of a, of a little hook tool, about the size of a little copper wire, you poke a little needle into the hot spot and pop. Mm-hmm. You're satisfied it's opened. Okay, I check for traps behind the, the door. Behind the door? So you're going to try and open it? 
carefully. Just in case there's another slime trap again. Mm -hmm. You begin pushing on the door and you notice as you slowly push it open there's a pot sound landing on it. A pot? As you look up as well you see it looks like a large piece of glass over the top of the archway. A piece of glass? Yeah, a round circular piece of glass, like that big. What the heck is that? You know what that is, Attila? Hmm, maybe some sort of mosaic of some kind? Yeah, maybe get a closer look. What if the pot is going to fall down on us and spill some sort of liquid? And that little, the glass thing you see is the lid. Hmm. <coughs> Who's got a ten foot pole? Says Attila. I do not, sorry. I don't have a ten foot pole. I have a spear, I don't know if it's long enough to reach it. Hmm. Might still put you in danger, but... How about a stave? No, this is my stave. <laughs> These spears are disposable. Mm, alrighty. Head. So, what are you going to do with this spear? Give it to a tiller. I'll have to do that and try to nudge it off. Sorry? I'm going to try to nudge it away from us. Away from us, okay. So you're trying to tilt it forward. Alright. I'll try to tilt it to the side. As you tilt it a little bit to one side, it begins to... The door opens up a bit and tumble. Those in front make a dex check. All three of us? Or actually no, I'll just roll a hit. Roll a d4 each person in the front. Can you roll one? Yep. That's a d6. One. Oh sorry. Uh, one. Uh, yeah, d4. 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 Triangle. Cantrip. Caltrop, as you call it. Two. One. Two. One. Four. Democles. As the pot lands and shatters, a strange goop tries oh, to jump out. I knew it! It was that thing again. Pull up my shield. You hold up your shield. Very good maneuver. The thing... Where is your, where's your model? The thing polishes your shield. It misses. The little splat lands in front of you. A strange goop of green sits there. Back off, and here we go, Torch! Uh, nope, nope. Oh, wait, hang on. This is Attila. Just back up, back away, back away slowly. Yeah, I have a torch. The goop begins to try and touch Eris. Mass and misses. Two. Eris is backing up. And he's got a torch ready. You got a torch? Yes. Okay, you're gonna need a flint and steel. Use mine. Roll a d6. Me. Yep. Three. You begin hammering away at the flint and steel. It doesn't quite work. I go again. As you do, the goop begins... To advance. It begins to crawl a little bit closer to Bertha and tries to touch her. Thirteen. It touches your sh touches your shield. Your shield has now got goop attached to it. What do? I'm um, going. Wait, it's on. Like the whole thing is on the shield. Like yep. it jumped on me. Yeah, it jumped on your shield. Can I remove my shield and throw it like a frisbee away from me? You may. Where are you throwing it to? This direction, because there's no one there. And I don't want to have a teller. Alright. So throw it over here. It's far away from us so we can have time to light the torch. One, two, Frisbee. Three. There. Bonk! Hits the wall. Bonk. There you go. Now it's far away from us. We've got some time. Alrighty. <laughs> but I'm going to have to get a new shield now. And you see that after throwing it and impacting, the slime has turned your shield into green slime. I thought it would. I knew it would do that to me if I didn't get rid of my shield. 
Mm. I can buy a new shield, but I can't buy a new me. Yeah. Alrighty, so. What? Uh, uh, light the flint and steel again. Alright. Five! No, it fails. What? Yep. It's really the low number, and you said it failed. One or two. Oh, okay then. So. That's my round. Who's next? Uh, till I just sort of say, so it just starts keeping an eye on it. Okay. Four. What are you doing, Democles? I'm making sure there's nothing, like, none of the other slimes off anywhere. Oh, it's, yeah. only, it's only the one. What are you doing, Jess? I'm still...